According to the majority of market years, 2019 is going to be a video first year once again. Therefore, video is going to be super important for our tactics, strategies and campaigns. That's why in Growth5 we believe that it's super important as a marketeer, as a salesperson or as a consultant to be literate about how to create videos that stand out and attract the audience that you are targeting. In the past we covered how to create new ideas for your video campaigns and how to shoot a video on a budget. And now today in this video I want to demystify one of the most scary phases of the video production post-production. So in this video we are gonna cover only the tools that you can choose. If you want to know more about techniques, tactics, you can follow this link here where we gather all the information, strategy, tips and tricks that we use in Grow Tribe to edit our videos. Let's start with the first case. Let's say that you are a salesperson or a consultant and you want to communicate your product, your service with an effective video. Or let's say that you are a marketeer and you need to prepare a cold outreach campaign or that you need to nurture those people that have just joined your customer journey. In these cases, you don't need a professional video editing tool nor to add graphics or effects. The idea that you want to convey in this video is confidentiality and trust. For this type of videos, I would suggest two solutions. First one, Soapbox. Soapbox is a Chrome extension made by the guys at Wistia that enables you to record your screen and your webcam in the same time. But that's not all. You can basically edit and choose what you want to show, when you want to show it, with a simple linear editor. Soapbox uses HTML and JavaScript to deliver video transitions rather than traditional compositing. It means that you can change your video even after you shared it and it will automatically update across every platform and device. Once you have finished the video editing, you'll be able to customize the thumbnail, share it directly on all your platforms or embed the video in your email. Once it's been you'll also be able to share, study and analyze your stats. You have three different plans and the starting free version is going to have most of the features you need. Sometimes we don't need to buy expensive tools. We can have the solution just one click away from us. Like in this case, QuickTime remains, in my opinion, one of the best and easiest tools to record personal videos. You just need a webcam and a microphone. You can even use the microphone of your headset. Once you open QuickTime, you can select what to record, your screen or your webcam, and the source of the recording. You can also use QuickTime to trim your video. And once you have recorded, you can give it a personalized touch with LAMLIST. LAMLIST is personalization and custom fields brought into videos. You can bulk add directly into your video the name of the person you want to talk to or their company logos. The cost of this tool is not as cheap as other that we cover in this video. But hey, this level of automation and personalization of videos is not something everybody offers and it comes at a cost. If you know about any cheaper tool that do the same job, please let us know in the comments below here. Second case, I'm in marketing and I need an easy to use tool for my social media channels. Now, let's say that just a video recording is not enough for your needs and you are looking for a no pain easy to use tool to edit your videos and add some graphics titles etc in this case you are probably also trying to produce as many videos as possible in the shortest amount of time you are probably familiar with canva for graphics this is basically the same concept for video the production value here is a little bit more than the first example and you need to grab the attention of the viewers with this type of tools you will have already a lot of presets of graphics music everything you need to get your video done first tool is animation Animoto. Animoto is a tool that we use on a weekly basis to produce quick and simple content for our social media. Basically, when we need to produce something as quick as possible, but we need to keep it on brand, Animoto is our go-to tool. It is basically a drag and drop tool with a lot of stock photos and stock footage ready to use. You have access also to a lot of animation presets and stock music. As you can see, you have three different pricing plans and your choice really depends on what you need to do with this tool. The second tool is Lumen5. We talked already about Lumen5 in one of our Grow Insights episodes a while ago but it's still one of the best options around if you need to get video done and you have few minutes at your disposal. Lumen5 is an AI powered web based tool that is able to elaborate any text piece you have. Lumen5 runs any text through its NLP and finds the best footage for every paragraph or sentence. If you're satisfied with the results you're good to go otherwise you can make few changes and export it or share it on your social media channels. The pricing is not cheap but you can start by using it for free see how it performs and if needed with some results you will be able to prove the need of a tool like this. I'm in marketing and I want to commit a bit more with videos but I have no experience. So in this case you are probably tired of all those videos that look exactly the same. You have probably already proven to the rest of the team that videos work and you are trying to find solution to step up the game of your video campaigns. In this case I'm not gonna suggest you to download Premiere or DaVinci or Final Cut or any of these advanced tools that are gonna require you a lot of time to learn how to use them. Instead I'm gonna show you two options that have similar results but they are easier to learn. 
let's kick off with Filmora. From their homepage, you'll understand immediately their main value proposition, making video editing simple. It is impressive how they've been able to create a drag and drop type of UI that helps you step by step in the creation of your videos. You have basically a semi professional tool at your fingertips, and the results can impress any professional video maker. You have a lot of graphic presets, title screen, music, lower thirds, footage, and also color correction filters, speed controller, audio levels, and many more professional tools in just one screen. You can also select different output, import your media, and choose the best codec for the platform you are going to use. You have a free plan, so just try it out, and if you find it interesting, you can start to pay. Up until a couple of weeks ago, this section would have ended with Filmora, but then Adobe decided to rebuild from scratch their simplified version of Adobe Premiere Pro. Adobe Premiere Rush has basically the same feature of Filmora with a plus. Thanks to the super developed cloud system of Adobe, you can basically share all your media files in the cloud and upload videos to the project directly from your phone. So let's say that you've just shot your interview with a client using your phone and you want to start editing on the go. Then you have just to open the media folder in your phone, upload the clips you need in Adobe Rush and start the editing. Or you can even start to share the project with someone in the office. Once the editing is done, you can give the final personal touches with some lower thirds, graphics, title screens, or anything you need. You can download the trial version, you will have free projects for free, and then if you are impressed, you can pay a monthly subscription to have the full functionalities again. So I promise you, with these tools, video editing will be super easy. As we mentioned before, this video was all about tooling, but if you want to know more about the tactics, the tips, the tricks, just follow this link where you can find our step-by-step -step guide to video editing. So remember to subscribe to the channel, like and comment on the video and share it all across the platform that you have. See you next time.